know what shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Behave yourselves! Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry Saravia the Movies. So today we're going to talk very briefly about uh, an article that came out from The Guardian uh, back in uh, March 16th, so it was about four days ago. And this came from the film director John Borman, who's done films like Excalibur, um, Deliverance, Exorcist 2. <laughs> and a bunch of other movies, but generally a very good film director. Uh, I believe the Emerald Forest from back in the day. So he made a comment. He said that out of all of the Oscar nominees for Best Picture, the only one that was shot on film was The Fablements, and that we got to stop talking about films that are made electronically as films, that is to say, shot on high-definition video. And his quote was, no film is used in the making of them. That means these other films shot on high defi definition video, not the shooting, the editing, or the projection. So they can't or shouldn't be called films. He went on to say that a few filmmakers, such as Steven Spielberg, still cling to using celluloid, but they are finding it increasingly difficult to find stock. Which is really interesting. And that most of the labs that used to develop and print film have gone out of business. Also, film is an expensive element of a budget. The electronic alternative means you can carry on shooting for virtually no cost. Now, when you shoot on film, celluloid, that is, a camera has about 10 minutes worth of footage that you can shoot. And then you have to reload the camera and put in another film reel and so on. Film is very special because it's not magnetic. It's not uh, made of binary digits it's not pixelated it's light and shadow it's film just like you would when you back in the day anyway shoot pictures on film there's a special grain quality to it and especially the contrast between light and shadow and if you look at a lot of film noir from the 1940s and 50s especially you can definitely see that a lot of that you can't really do with hd video I mean, you can approximate the look, and certainly a lot of people now shoot movies on iPhones, which is <laughs> strange, because I don't have an iPhone myself, I just have a smartphone, And but uh, they find a bunch of apps to make something look cinematic. So he does have a point. Now, um, I wasn't aware that everything, everywhere, all at once was not shot on film, because the film looks actually pretty damn good, but I guess we can't call it a film, according to John Borman, but it's still a film, technically. Although, a lot of these films are not called films anymore. They are called, I hate using quotes, content, or another one, IP, intellectual uh, um, product, or whatever it is. And it's just, that's ridiculous. Now, he does have a point. Steven Spielberg uses film, um, Quentin Tarantino, Paul Thomas Anderson, but it's getting fewer and fewer at this point. I mean, there aren't many people doing this. And I may also, getting back to what I was saying about shooting 10 minutes at a time with film back in the day, which is all that a film reel could hold, uh, on video you just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. So there's really no end to it. I mean, you can do an elaborate long take that could last even longer than anything that you saw in Goodfellas or... Uh, anything Brian De Palma could do, uh, it could go on forever. So, now, the interesting thing about this is I was looking at the resolution that is being used. Now, f that is for HD video, and we may as well just call it what it is. That's what it is. And that, despite the advances of 4K and so on and so forth, an open secret of the film industry is that almost no film is really produced in true 4K. Even for movies and shows shot with 6K or 8K, as they put it, cinema cameras, nearly every finished film was edited at standard HD resolution and then artificially enlarged to 4K. So it's kind of like back in the day when they would uh, shoot a film in 16 millimeter and blow it up to 35. So it's that kind of thing. 
Um, so I don't know. I think that th there is something to be said about film, shooting on film. It's a real chemical process and there's magic in it. I don't sense that same magic in HD video. And you'll find that a lot of actors that work with this technological supposed advancement because everything looks sharper and clearer than ever before because of course a lot of movie theaters have converted to digital projection over the last decade or, or more really um, they think I think that a lot of them that had the pleasure of working with directors who were able to use film uh, or shoot on film they felt there was some magic at play that they were really creating something whereas on HD video I don't think they really feel it so I don't know what do uh, the rest of you out there think do you think that films should really just be shot resolutely on film can you tell the difference and sometimes I can't to be honest with you between HD video and film or sometimes more obvious when you watch a DVD or a blu-ray uh, where the film grain is more obvious uh, as opposed to something shot on HD video so uh, let me your thoughts tell me what you think about what director John Borman who actually is 90 years old is still around and obviously because he wrote this article for the Guardian and um, what do you think do you think we've lost the magic that's an interesting question and where are we gonna go from here <laughs> everything is digitized now so it's hard to say um, anyway let me your thoughts tell me what you think if you like what you hear please subscribe to my channel and this is Jerry Sarvi at the Movies, signing off.